Good morning, everybody. Damn it, I did a generic intro line. All right, F you, everybody. Cat Kappa. Uh, it's it's time for, for coffee. N, because my name starts with N, because I'm Nathan. That makes sense, right? And, uh, oh, and co-op, co-op, right, because there's Zagara, the tentacle chick. Um, yeah, 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 exactly, Nick. I So I was talking about, yeah, the only weird thing that ever happened to me in my seven years in LA was that I had a, an energy vampire come up to me and I was walking, I was walking past this guy and it was just this like random handsome dark dude. And he's like, and I, I was, I was like really, really, really drunk. This is like maybe two 30 in the morning. Like, you know, I'm 20, I'm like 24 single. I stayed, you know, I, I had some white claws until the bar closed and I'm walking home and then this guy, and I'm listening to like, I think I've got Taylor Swift or Carly Rae Jepsen on. And I'm just kind of like dancing. I would always, it's like about a mile walk, uh, or about half a mile walk back from this bar that I would go to. So I would just dance and sing the whole way there in the middle of the night. Cause you know, who cares? And, um, this guy's like, it's like, man, you must have something good on there. And I'm like, I'm like, you better believe I do. And he was like, and he was like, man, I love, he's like, I love seeing that energy. I love seeing that happiness out of somebody. And I was like, I was like, well, God bless you too, sir. And he's like, yeah, normally, it's like, normally I'd have to take your energy from you because my life's not that great, but I'm going to let you be tonight because you you seem like you're really feeling yourself. I'm like, I'm like, I don't know if this met, this guy was about to mug me or what, but thank you, sir. <laughs> and then I danced my merry way home. I danced my merry way home. Only tripped on a curb twice in seven years. Just going to say that. We're working on our cigar prestige. Um... It's a little late night talk, but I do have, I've got my cold brew. I actually, I brewed a pitcher of my own cold brew. I made a big uh, two liter, or I think it's a three liter, or it's two gallons, right? So what it is, that's three and a half liters. Um, made a little uh, three and a half liter jug. Got a big, big, mega large size mason jar. Put my little protein chocolate milk in it. And I was dipping some Oreos in my coffee today because you know what? Sometimes you got to treat yourself. It's Sunday. I don't normally, I don't normally do any work related stuff on Sundays, but I took Saturday off. I wasn't really feeling very well. And, um, come on, go into the shot, go into the shot, go into the camera shot, go into the camera shot. Uh, no one wants to see Nathan's elbow while he's playing co-op Lewis. We got a doggo cam now too. I'm going to try to have that on whenever we can. If he ever chills in his spot, he's, he's just running in circles around the apartment, chewing on the, uh, the tug of war thing he's got. Hallucination. You know, what? I'm just gonna leave this up because he just keeps so running back and forth. My bots. Oh, there he is. His name is Lewis. He is. Uh, he is almost nine months. He'll be nine months old on the. I believe. Oh my God! Did I forget when my kid's birthday is already? I guess it is possible. I think he's going to be nine months old on the 29th or the 31st. I think it's the 31st. I think he was born November 31st. He's not a year old yet. No, 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 no. I mean, dogs, big dogs reach their full height. I think they said somewhere between six and nine months old is actually pretty normal. He's supposed to fill out a little bit now. Like he'll probably get a little bit wider, I think is what happens next. He might not get wider though. He might just be a really slim golden retriever for the rest of his life. The veterinarian was saying that. She was like, she was like, she's like, man, he's like, he's on. Uh, he's pretty slim. And I was like, like, I swear we don't starve him. We don't. Tell you what, being locked in, the, in quarantine with him, we probably made the mistake of overfeeding him a few times. Cause it's like, how else do you get him to shut up when he's upset? And, um, yeah. Yeah, no, he's just, he just loves to run around. He's a very athletic pup. We're currently trying to get him sponsored by um, Airbud. If any of the people, any of the uh, 40 people that will watch this YouTube video have worked on Airbud or the Airbud series, I would love to get in touch with you guys. Let's make Lewis a, uh, a superstar. Let's make him a superstar. I think he's ready for the big leagues. Organisms approaching must secure perimeter. Must secure perimeter. 
You know some of the Great Dane puppy that's probably two months old and already as tall as Lewis. Well, Great Danes are mega chunks. I think there's people at my apartment building that have Great Danes. Located a soon to be active geyser. Make sure to escort the bot. I'll send to harvest it. Has been born. I think I derped something with my mouse. It has been something has been up with it recently. I need to I need to fix this. It's not always responding. I don't know if I broke it. I break a lot of stuff. It's not really like ever the hardware's problem. I just get really, really I click really hard and stuff when I'm playing games like StarCraft and whatnot. So. It's actually pretty normal for me to get like a new keyboard or mouse every other year or once a year just because even the best stuff like I just break it I break it on accident usually kind of like how I'm breaking my Xbox controller because I'm pushing the buttons and the sticks too hard on it because I just get too in I get too focused I get too intense I think you guys can see my mouse being a little bit jumpy what's made to last forever and being destroyed all right there's a mission there's a mission right I should probably get on that that's fine. That's fine. Now we got some. I got some jugglings. I see you, enemy scum. They're going to attack my bots, commanders. I don't know. I'll try to replug in my wireless receiver on it. Maybe I did something derpy with it. You don't want to have to spend as much money to feed it as it costs. Well, even with bigger dogs, you, you're kind of supposed to feed them less as they get older. Once they reach their full adult height, they're like, yeah, you cut them down into like uh, two, two like decent meals a day instead of three. But I don't know. I just buy like the mega giant bags of like the Canada all uh, ages. All right, he's he's sleeping Good by the door. I'm gonna turn that off. Well, what did your bots bring you? The Black Plague. Kind of low on the minerals there, huh? Lou, don't wag your tail when I talk about diseases that wiped out almost all of Europe. Jesus, it's messed up, Lou. That would have been me. That would have been me, Lou. I'm first generation, Lou. We can't let Europe get destroyed. Sorry. He needs to understand the family history. Poor thing's all out of energy. Oh, Lou's mad at me now. Lou's mad at me now. He's giving me the eyes. Not I don't really have the upgrade cash stuff yet, right? So we just kind of keep rolling, I, I suppose. Wait, we got the uh, aberration upgrades, didn't we? Yes, the protective cover. That's actually exactly That's what away. we need. <laughs> what? <laughs> I thought it was funny. <laughs> I'm sure the trade of well, money for love you get from your animal is worth it. I just have a hard enough time feeding myself. Oh, no, I totally get that. No, I totally get that. I totally get that. I wouldn't want, I, I have, I have waited so long to get a dog just, just because of my own personal fear of not being able to give it the love and attention and care that it needs, especially with my traveling and whatnot. Like all of that was a pretty big part about why I haven't, you know, why I haven't had a dog since I was in high school. So I totally, totally understand that. That's one of the reasons why I was so happy to be able to get Lewis. It wasn't just because I was happy to have him, but being in a position where I could actually take care of something else was uh, was something I, I, I kind of wanted to be in, you know? I wanted to be able to, to get a dog and not be like, oh, I'm making a big mistake here. Can't afford this or whatever. But yeah, that's why I waited so long. It's worth the wait. I'm sure you understand that. Okay, the bot should be on their way back. The bot should be on their way back. Experiments. Let's get some aberrations in this nation. Yeah, okay, I didn't realize my mouse was gonna bug out like this. I'm sure it's just one of those that gotta unplug it, replug it things, because I haven't had a bug like this in a while. Aberrations in the nation. Do you do this sort of thing often? We've 
at the start of a good terrazine cache, but my research is going to require some more. Some more! But once the Belshire Glider's terrazine is gone, it'll be dead. So try to free it sooner than later. If you have a heart, that is. The mutation is uh, the swarm does not have a heart. I'm pretty sure that's one of the Activity. defining features of the swarm would be a lack of a heart. <laughs> More geysers! Just don't let the aberration walk underneath all my scourge. That would be very bad. Why didn't I think of that? Evolution complete. Yeah, no, I totally get that. No, I would feel bad buying cheap food for my pet too. That it was a big, a big part about it for me was like I wanted to make sure that if I was gonna have a dog again, you know, that I could give it the best possible life. I had to give my dog away because how poor we were. I mean, we weren't poor when we first got the dog. I was nine years old. That was before my dad got hurt and lost his job and everything, but. Yeah, no, I'll never forget how terrible it felt going and buying like the worst possible food and seeing and be upset about it and stuff and Feeling like there's nothing I could do is awful. No, totally totally respect that Totally respect that Sorry for sad story time <laughs> I just love dogs I love dogs. I love my dog. And I love the dogs I used to have. You know? I'm always going to be one of those people. This is a good challenge with, like, a bunch of my clicks not registering. Nothing but love for our pet animals. Yeah. You love cats, personally? Yeah. I've got a cat, too. You guys never see the cat because she's not one of those social cats. Uh, she was abused pretty badly. Katie... Katie saved her from being euthanized because she got returned to uh, she got returned to the shelter like two or three times because of how antisocial she is. But um, she just lives in my closet. She never comes out under any circumstance. Maybe once a month she'll come out at night to say hi to us before we go to bed, but that's basically it. Otherwise, she literally never leaves her, uh, her bedroom, the little closet space. She never leaves it. See, this is a good way to play the Zagara extra supply, though, because I don't worry. I remember I was talking about how hard it is to keep the supply up. Yeah, that was even before we got the puppy, by the way. It's not like the dog made the cat be like, oh, I don't feel safe anymore. Just straight up. The cat just... When I first met Katie, when we started dating, the cat just stayed underneath her bed for all of, all of eternity and never, ever left under any circumstance. And then... When Katie moved in with me and my apartment had a little bit more space than her last place, the cat just kind of pulled up in the closet and that was it. And just slept underneath like uh, one of the clothes bins things because we do the little hangers. We got the little hanging clothes, uh, clothes things. Yeah. yeah. I think Kiki was abused pretty badly by whoever owned her before, uh, before Katie got her. So I'm not surprised that she... Not surprised that she's antisocial. That's my Disney dream Welcome one day, is to Ooh, those are mine. <laughs> get her to a place where she's uh, she can be comfortable and happy. I don't think she'll ever be a social cat, but my terrazine tanks are about halfway full. Maybe, maybe really one day, today. maybe one day, you know, she'll she'll just come say hi to me while I'm streaming. I don't need her to jump on my keyboard, but she could just come rub up against my leg and then walk away. You know, that would be, I think, a lot of progress for her. That would be a pretty tremendous amount of progress. But that's what it means to love something, right? Is you're, you know, you gotta, you gotta give it space when it needs space. You gotta give it attention when it needs attention. And you have to try your best to be respectful of uh, all of the things about it that you don't understand. 
That's what I think love is anyway. Your forces are under attack. Your forces are under attack. My whole army can't fit under a thumbtack. Sabbath has been pretty good though. Not gonna lie. Yeah. So getting the ab the the aberration buffs keeps enough supply tied up that I, I I'm back to Swarm Zagara. Except I have a bunch of aberrations now, which is awesome. It's a good combination to have. I could probably just turn the camera actually, considering where Lewis is was chilling. There you go. There you go, guys. Do you want if you want to just watch him sleep like the like the fucking creeps you are. You guys sit here watching it. 27 year old dude play video games in his apartment, right? Clearly, you're not, you don't all have it together. Uh, looks like they've trapped another Belshire glider. You know what to do or not do. Is that enough to just kill it? It's close. Hey, um, <clears throat> did you happen to save, save any of the extracted terrazine? No? no? Oh, oh, that's okay. okay. Well, that's okay. Nani? Okay. You can't build any more units. You're maxed out. Your allies are in you can't build any more units. You're maxed out. I'm all out of scourge. I'm so lost without them. I know my anti-air was weak without my flying guys. I'm all out of scourge. I'm all out of scourge. You guys think I built too? Is it possible to build too many aberrations? Because I feel like I might have built too many aberrations. I mean, I, I personally don't know, but I may have built, I may have built too many. This air Terran is annoying. I guess if they're wasting their time with me, they're not going to kill anything time else. For the bots to come back. I hate it when they're out there all night without giving me a call. They're out all night without giving me a call. My bots are taking damage. Terrible, terrible damage. This is one of the longest missions in the game because it's basically timed. Blizzard never really intended for everybody to be clearing everything in seven minutes. And this this mission kind of brings it back to the roots. Approaching enemy forces required. So I must have multiple charges of these guys just waiting. Yeah. So I guess the best thing to do would be just attack. I don't know. He's got these insanely chunky AF ravagers. I don't really know how to feel about it. Be respectful towards things you don't understand is a pretty solid piece of advice for life. Yeah, I tend to agree. Dive, dive, dive. This, this isn't Fall Guys. This isn't Fall Guys. I heard the patch for Fall Guys is coming out soon, though. I'm very excited for that. Yeah, we're going to mess with the mouse a little bit after this game. We can play some 1v1s, maybe a direct strike. And then uh, today, what I want to do when we play some Madden later is I want to go through some of the uh, the Ultimate Team solo battles. Just because I want to get all, I want to get them all done. I got to work on my mechanics. I'm very rusty. I tried to do a few of them on my own. They were pretty bad. They were pretty bad. I did a pretty bad job. The bots are back in town. The bots are back in town. I heard Blizzard got sued for this. Look at all Just kidding. I made that up. Someone's going to get mad at me for that one. It's all mine. I'm just like, I have so much money now. What do I do? Am I a millionaire funded by billionaires? I might be in this game. Like these are the last this guy's Jeff Bezos. The end is nigh, commanders. I don't think he's lost a single unit this whole game. That's a disgusting army he has. Nate's battle. messing with my mind. I don't know what's real anymore. <laughs> that was my plan all along, Batman. I've been watching. So yesterday, uh, as I said, I didn't really get to, um, I didn't really do anything. I tried to avoid doing too much work related stuff yesterday. Um, and I'm streaming on today on Sunday because I am going to take Monday off. Katie is getting back from seeing her family tomorrow and, uh, having spent a week without my better half, I have been uh, very bored, very lonely. 
so we're just gonna we're just gonna cuddle and watch tv and eat chicken wings or some shit i don't know that's the plan so i'm gonna take monday off and we're just gonna chill we're gonna vibe out we're gonna do that we're gonna have some fun um all right these charges all got used right like what do i do <laughs> i feel like i screwed up now i have too much money it's not even fun anymore i have too much too many resources what's a boy to do Yeah. Right. It's not really possible for us to lose. I think my APM just spiked to 10 trillion. So many banelings. Send in the drones. The enemy's taking fire at your forces. There's no air units. There's no ground units. Whee! Can we? Can my banelings bounce up there? Can I? Can I get like the bouncing Man, Betty upgrade? Which bot will make it back to me first? I want this game to play like it's Call of Duty Modern Warfare. You know, that's that's my ideal game. Kappa keep old Kapuka pal. I mean, technically, there's, there could be calories in anything, even if it's not edible, right? Like, I don't know. Could there be? Could there be, though? Enemy attack imminent. Prepare. Ah, it's again, yeah. It's the circle of life. Well, Generation yeah. I don't know what this abathur is smoking, but, um... It is strong enough to carry me. And I never would have given you up. Never would have given you up. And you up if you only hadn't given me up. Your ally needs help. You can't all right. Your ally Let's attacked. make a trillion banelings now. Let's make more. Can we spend all of our money? Is it possible? You're at maximum supply. Your ally I'm trying. Calories are a unit of energy. Yeah, I know. That's what I was saying. There must be. It's not like there can't be energy in things we can't eat. So maybe the bots do have a lot of calories. Maybe the, maybe the bots are like pasta to aim on. I don't know. Have you ever been an all-powerful fake Zelnaga deity monstrosity with tentacles and shit? If you haven't, I'm not really sure that you should be, uh, be speaking from a boy over there, you know? No offense. You may not know what you're talking about. Hell yeah. You guys know you'll always get longer episodes of coffee and co-op when I'm playing, uh, when I get put on this map. Oh, his name was Grudon. Yo, real talk though. I was, a, I was a Ruby player for sure. Mm. I just want them to remake. I want them to make like a definitive remake of Ruby, Ruby, Sapphire, Emerald, whatever, but like have Johto and Kanto in there. You know what I'm saying? Just those first three. To me, that's where it peaked. To me, that's where it peaked. So what did I unlock? The upgrade that literally is useless because of my prestige. Excellent. Next time, we'll get the Baneling upgrade cash. That also helps break the game. Thank you guys for tuning into this episode of Coffee and Co-op. Uh, Lewis also says hello. Even though he's a dog, he doesn't really know what I'm talking about. He's not responding to what I'm saying. Lou, say goodbye to the viewers. He's upset. He's, he's, he's not. No, he's not dealing with me today. He's not dealing with me today. I'll see you guys on the next episode.